Copy, Hesh. We're moving in on Mark. If you hear the word checkmate, you will fire at our position. Confirm. Say again. Repeat your last. You heard me, Merrick. Our checkmate hit this train. <laughs> Time to breach. We can't take any chances, Logan. Even if we fail, Rourke dies. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa. Ooh. There's Rourke. Shoot those guys. Ooh. Where am I going? You can't win, Rourke. It's over. Checkmate. Checkmate confirmed. What was that? What'd you do? Last work. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> no, no, nice. Whew. Whoa, quick. Did strangle, we just go through the floor? Strangle Rourke underwater, dude. There's people going through the floor. Yep, <laughs> good gun. Oh, it's his gun now. Oh. Trying to grab the gun here. X. Spin the gun, bitch. Oh. I shot him. Was there any way not to kill him? Probably not. Oh, I feel bad now. My gun is way too inaccurate to get a headshot, so... Well, it looks like I still grab him. So it might be a chance he's still alive. Yeah, bulletproof vest and stuff like that. You know, because it, it went all the way through another person. Could it also have gone through his bulletproof vest? The answer is no. <laughs> I don't think that... What's his face? Right now. I don't think Rourke actually had a bulletproof vest. Well, your brother did. This dude you're carrying. Hopefully he did. You know he did. He's a ghost. It's the reason you guys can get shot so much. But, uh... Yay! Please run. Look at oh, he's, the, a, he's alive. All the gear and equipment. Dragging the shore. Press and hold RT. Drag! Okay, you have to do LT and RT. Make it more dramatic. Drag. Yeah. The lift. You got him, Logan. You did it. Merrick, come in. Merrick, do you copy? Hesh, Hesh, is that you? Yeah. Hesh is alive. I'm with Logan. <laughs> We're okay. Dead Rourke? Dead. He's dead. Copy that. Federation's in full retreat. The rest of the payload's inbound to finish the job. You're gonna watch all these ships blow up. Sit tight. Recon's coming for you. It's beautiful. It's almost nuclear. I'm proud of you, Logan. So, literally, this campaign is pretty much around four hours or less. Yeah, I mean, they're never long, and they try to make them as visually impressive as possible to show off all the cool things they can do with their company. But really, the only reason people play this crap is for multiplayer. And even then, it's only because so many other people play it, they get to have fun shooting each other in the face like a pack of animals. These aren't good games. Got same.
Oh. Okay, nothing happened until that happened. You look that way and you get fucked up. So pretty much you can stand there and watch that whole entire thing until you look around. Nice. Look at what you did. You're good. You'd have been a hell of a ghost. But that's not gonna happen. There ain't gonna be any ghosts. We're gonna destroy him together. Logan! Logan! Is there more? Rock music! Yeah! Is this copyright? <laughs> Heck, if it is, then I'll just mute this part anyway, so... Yeah. We'll mute it. We'll mute it. It's like... I can't take any chances. Yeah, that's definitely copyrighted. It's Eminem. Yeah. Copyright. Alright, I'll be right back. You go rant on about how much you don't like Call of Duty. I hate it. I'll go back to my previous argument. Yeah, so as I was saying, before that extra cutscene... Which was really cool. I love it when the bad guys sort of win at the end. It's very nice. It's more cliche than it used to be now. Because a lot of people are like, yeah, we can't just have good things happen all the time. But, but yeah, these campaigns are very short. They're very visually stunning. It shows off everything that they can do, all the fun stuff they have. We saw a lot of fun stuff they didn't do. We saw a lot of lazy stuff and... A lot of a lot of stuff that didn't make a lot of sense, like dog murdering people next to other people who were really close by. You can even show a lot of if you know what you're doing, you can show a lot of really bad things in this game as well. Me and my cousin were doing it and laughing ourselves silly. Like having the dog run into a pack of eight people and kill all of them. Uh running through silent missions, just shooting an unsilenced gun in the air. And, like, no one cares. Killing everybody. Even though you, like, you're kind of not. It's... They don't want you to. They want you to take it seriously. Uh, but, yeah, the, the games aren't great. They're not fantastic games. They're just average in every way. And they just happen to get really lucky that they have an, a, a very... Addictive to play, easy, fun, and very competitive multiplayer. And that's that's all they got. They got lucky. That's it. They're not good. Your arguments, sword. <laughs> even though I was not here for any of it, but hey. Well, you heard the final part of it. Well, still, even if it's just the same old, same old within every game, it's still fun. Because everyone wants to play it. And if you're done with one game, what else are you gonna do? Oh, yeah. If you want, you want to play a different game. You just can't be playing the same game over and over and over. Even if it's a different title, it's still the same game, but it's just more of a different experience. It's like you got everything that you want to do in this game. It's not like you could restart because it's just gonna be the same thing. Yeah. You want something different. You would like to see different visuals. You like to see different types of games or different types of things that they could put up for a game. And it's what Extinction is, even though I have not yet played it. Yeah, see, I, I understand that argument. I understand where you're coming from. But to me, new weapons, updated graphics, and, a, and different maps don't make a game new. Or even better. Um, it's really a $20 experience for 60 bucks crammed down your throat so that they can make more money... So that all the people on the screen you see now can have their jobs, even though, look at them. Production they're, babies. They're, it's, it's, 
look at all these people who made this game that is essentially copy and paste. It's bloated. It's over budget. If they don't make their millions and billions of dollars, they would have to shut all this down. They'd have to end it. And there'd be no more Call of Duty. And they're lucky. And they should think every day they got lucky that people buy this. Even if they hate it, they'll still buy it just to see how much they hate about it. Yeah. But still. Just for the multiplayer. It's just, it doesn't matter to me. If I'm done with one game and I don't, if there's nothing else for me to do with that game, then I want to play something different. And that's what they always bring out a new game every year because you literally have one year to get everything that you need to get done. And once you're done with that, you can move on with the next installment. Yeah. And you know that there's going to be a Call of Duty Ghosts 2 because of the ending here. Yeah. Even and there's a viral video going about this, even though this is kind of be outdated by the time this is uploaded. But still, they pretty much copy and paste from Modern Warfare 2. But still, either way, you know that this is going to be another game and then everyone's still going to buy it no matter what. Yeah. It's it's not a five course meal. It's it's a microwave dinner. And the next thing, you get a microwave dinner with added salt. Yep. It's a microwave dinner with a little bit of salt, but you love the taste. It's easy and you get to have it. That's all it is. It's just something it's 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 not going to excite you. It's not going to tingle your taste buds. It's going to make you Hunger for something better, but it's gonna fill you up, and that's all it is. It's just putting mash in your mouth, bland, tasteless mash that you get to keep eating every day. But either way, I'm still a Call of Duty fan. I'm still I I could say I probably I can't say I'm a Battlefield fan per se. I like the games, but it's just something I don't want to buy anytime soon. Because honestly, it's like if you bring yourself into a game that you have so much high expectations for and you buy it and then it's just utter crap you don't want to buy any more games that seem yeah. alike to it that's kind of the deal with me and duke nukem they had 13 years to perfect a game yeah. they had so much money and then they cut out budgets here and there and then once it's one it was out it was i bought it i even pre-ordered it for crying out loud you i spent like duke's big package yeah i spent like 60 bucks on it and then when I played the game, it was like, stupid. Did you uh, did you notice in that game that uh, it was there were elements of every other popular game at the time of its development? If you if you look at each of the chapters of the game, like Duke Nukem took how long to make? Twelve years. Hold on, let me see. If this... Oh, extra. Okay, that was it. Just pretty much you see yourself trapped now. You see the little cage around yeah, you. Yeah, you saw the time speed up real fast in there. So it's giving you a glimpse of what's going on in the next game that you know this is going to happen. You know, there might be a different ending based on how many Rourke files you get. Or an extended ending. Has, have they talked about that? No, but that's probably a thing. Nah. I bet no one's played the campaign twice through yet be, and like talked about it because it's terrible. And they really just want to get to multiplayer. But I bet if you collect every... Someone who collected every Rourke file has a different ending than the one you just saw. I I would put money down, five bucks down, that that's an actual thing. You get every Rourke file, you get to see an extended ending. Or if you play it on a hard difficulty, you get to see an extended ending. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's one for every part. Yeah, essentially. And we already found like, only, like eight of them right here. But but yeah, the uh, Duke Nukem. Uh, there's every chapter in Duke Nukem is essentially a different game that was popular while Duke Nukem was still in development. And the developers were like, "Hey, that's popular right now. Let's take a part of that game." Like uh, uh, going through the uh, the dome where you go and fight the alien queen to get back uh, Duke's girls. Yeah. Uh, do you notice how much how Dead Space like that is? That level, the dark elements, the tunnels you have to open up, the the enemies you fight, it's 
completely dead space. And uh, the other the other levels of it, like going through, uh, um, I can barely even remember the levels. That game isn't terribly long, but it's terribly forgettable. Uh, except for Duke's awesome one-liners, which are very cool. <laughs> I get, even that gets old every now and then because yeah, it gets old. It gets old, but it's very, very. Funny. It's just really disappointing me. I spent sixty dollars or sixty-six with taxes and all that stuff. Yeah, I spent that much on the game. I've already played it. I've already beaten it. I've already went through the hardest difficulty. Granted, it was still a little bit difficult, but then after that, it was done. It's like yeah. I got every single achievement, even the pinball and the table oh. hockey game, which oh. was so annoying. That that must have been brutal. You, I gave up you, on that. Even with the phone calls. And then, after that, I was done with the game. I was literally done with it. All there was left is to play the game again with cheats. Yeah. And then I played the game with cheats. It actually froze when I got to the king. Oh, jeez. And then it was like, okay, I'm done with this game. I even played <laughs> multiplayer. It wasn't all that great. I've actually won a few matches. But every time when I get to a different lobby, it just starts to lag so much that it was unplayable. Mm. And everything was the same. You just... There's no movement. All it is is, you know, when you look in the mirror and then you look at yourself and you're moving left and right, only the legs move. Nothing else moves except if you were to talk and then the mouth movement. There was no animation to that. So it was like really lazy on their part. Yeah. So you could say that, you could possibly say that Duke Nukem Forever was more lazy than Call of Duty. Yeah, it it, it really was. They still had 13 and years. They had... Grant Granted, they had production costs, but still, that's a very, very long time. Yeah, but also remember how much technology change there was in those 13 years. They had to keep relearning, reusing, and trying out new software to try to make a game that really shouldn't have been in development nearly as long as it was passable in a new generation they could have still stuck with 2006 once that is there because with a lot of 2006 games there were a lot of great games out there yeah but it just it just the time like they were chasing they were chasing the clock all the time they were trying to they, revamp it every single time to keep it up with the time yeah. you could have just stayed with a good time year and stuck with the graphics engines that they had then and made the game as it should have been. Yeah, they, they, they. Well, we're talking a lot about Duke Nukem on this one. I, it's a terrible game. I, I like defending Duke Nukem because it was really what they were trying to do was incredibly difficult, and they were really trying their best. And I gave they should, them, they should have just stuck with what you know, they. I, I their give them credit for that, but we were, we were. Let me get off that, and we were talking about Battlefield earlier. Um, if Call of Duty is a copy and paste mashed potatoes that you get to season differently every year. Uh, then Battlefield is the same, only it's a baked potato. There's more you can do with a baked potato, more toppings you can put on it. But at the end of the day, it's still a baked potato. It's still the same game. But when it, when it all comes down to it, I'd rather eat a baked potato with sour cream and bacon bits and some cheese than mashed potatoes with salt and pepper and gravy. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> but either either way, it's just like when Battlefield 3 came out. It was the thing was that they kept advertising it every single day, every time I go to a video, even today, like you keep seeing Battlefield 4 everywhere. Yeah. Call of Duty didn't do that much of advertisement. Yeah. They, do you really they, have to advertise how great of your game is? So that you could try to convince every single person to buy your game. It's it's actually really fun though. It's a fun <laughs> game, but I don't want to see more and more commercials telling me how great of a game was it. Yeah. Especially but, like in when Battlefield 3 came out, it says these many people prefer this game over that game. Come on, yeah. you're just taking cheap shots. You're just making yourself sound like arrogant jerks. Well, they kind of get it right too, but I understand that like they're coming off a little too arrogant, but. It's still annoying. Like, everyone who plays Call of Duty, at this point, in this game, if you don't get tired of their multiplayer in the first month and then realize, maybe I should try something else, I don't know what you're doing, really. Like, if you want to keep playing it, that's fine. I have games that I love to play over and over again. But if first-person shooters are your genre... And what you love. Doesn't it get boring at this point? Knowing the maps, knowing the guns, 
getting your class, getting uh, I don't know if they have prestige. In yeah, post. in this game, is it, is you it have still prestige. Yeah, but here's level? the thing: you get you have ten characters. Each of them has one prestige. So there's your ten prestiges. <laughs> so you pretty much you prestige your character once you're done. You still have all the guns, and then you move on to the next character, and you keep going. Well, I mean that's slightly different, but it's slightly different, but still the same basis and same but concept. It's, it's like it's 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 very. Uh, it's hard to describe because I'm not not a language aficionado, but it's very very base, very same, very same over and over again. But Battlefield, you know, it's a slightly different. It's but Battlefield is in my mind still a positive upgrade from the Call of Duty franchise. I Battlefield think, has been along for just as long as Call of Duty anyways. Yeah. But the the new Battlefield 4, all the stuff, all the new stuff in it well, the extra stuff you can do. It's not Including new. Including the frost engines, quote-unquote. It's not new, but it's extra stuff you can do. Is far beyond what Call of Duty, even though it was saying it goes above and beyond all the other Call of Duties, it's still they nowhere do, close. They just to have a higher budget towards Battlefield 4 and how, how much they want to make it change a lot. Yeah, but, but, it's, but it's also how much they could do. Like, if Call of Duty suddenly added in you being able to jump into a tank or a Humvee or a helicopter. Everyone would say it's ripping off Battlefield. And if Battlefield suddenly got rid of all their tanks and helicopters and made it a squad-based first-person shooter like Call of Duty, everyone would say it was ripping off Call of Duty. So there's no winning situation regardless of how you look at it. It's just all the same to me. It's just you're all playing a game that you shoot people, you kill people, you do yeah. the objectives, and then that's it. They're, it's you're... all generally the same game. It's just how it's played is completely different. Yeah, you're, you're, you're still stuck in your roles. Neither one of the games can try to be more like the other one than they are. Then You're still stuck in your roles. But Call of Duty's role has been filled to the point where they're in space now. And when you get to space, you're done. There's no going past space. It's the final frontier. And they even went underwater, even though we said earlier, it's <laughs> exactly the same as this when you play Super Mario 64. And, and then space just reminds you of Halo. Battlefield still has a little wiggle room with what it can do before it has to be going to space and stuff. And there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do in Battlefield. Like the commander, you get to oversee the whole battlefield on a little tablet and stuff. That's, a, that's friggin' amazing. I was like, that's actually really cool. And how far can you go with Battlefield before the storyline itself gets a little bit boring? And as, as far as it went with Call of Duty, at this point, there is no more story in Battlefield. <laughs> because they're making, they're making different stories within each offset franchise, like how yeah. Black Ops and Black Ops 2 went, and now they're doing Ghost, which is completely different than Modern Warfare and the... Black yeah. Ops storyline. Yeah. all both games are stuck as far as what they can do. But you know, there's just there's a little more a little more room on the battlefield side. And I think a lot of people will probably find themselves going over the battlefield shortly. I wouldn't be surprised if uh the massive Call of Duty fan base drops off a little bit after this game. Nah, they they say the same thing with Black Ops and Black Ops Two. They're saying the same thing with Marvel for Three, and then they're saying the same thing with Ghost. It doesn't matter. People are still gonna play it no matter what. And then once their high expectations of Battlefield Four or Halo drops down, it's like up oh, back to Call of Duty. It's a cycle, people. It's it's a big cycle. This is why I'm not biased of any game. If I play one game for a long time, that doesn't mean I'm biased with it. It's because I really don't want to focus my attention towards that one game or several games at once. Yeah. But hey, it's whatever. It's a video game. Yeah, there, it's, in the end, it's still, still, it's still first-person shooter. In the end, it's a game on a plastic disc that pretty much we all have to stop playing video games yeah. and once in a while get outside. And with on that note, I'm gonna take my dog for a walk. <laughs> so, yeah. Sounds good. And question for you guys: Since you've stood with us for this far. Would you want us to actually answer people's questions or make a topic and discussion with just me and Kyle just going at it, just breaking it down and just sharing our thoughts with it with you guys? Would you like to see a small series of that? Let us know in the comment section below if you've gotten this far and you didn't exit out already. <laughs> yeah, if you, if, you got, if you got this far, listen to me ranting and raving about Call of Duty. And if, you, if you're in the comments defending uh, yourself, I'll be in the comments as well. Uh, you'll know me as Clark Kent because I'm Superman. Uh, you go ahead and uh, 
throw your 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 crap out there, and I'll I'll defend it the best I can, and uh, but hopefully hey. I can get a few uh, changed minds out there because I really think that these franchises who are stuck in their motions and just doing it over and over again really need to change otherwise they're gonna slowly ruin the game industry just like borderlands how they took a step with rpg and first person shooters not many people thought it would be successful even with the graphics nobody cares about graphics on that game anymore anyways just look how well borderlands is actually going yeah but it didn't sell a billion copies because well, it, didn't, it, because it didn't make a billion dollars <laughs> but they did had a huge launch or a huge group following of borderlands yeah but you don't hear about people having a great online experience in borderlands this is more or less it, a game that you play by yourself and you just do the missions and then you play with your friends yeah. and then it's good but the future really is in is online and you need you need to have some sort of drastic change and call of duty needs a drastic change and so does battlefield so do fighting games and racing games, but I'll talk about that another time. Like I said, just <laughs> give us questions so that we can answer of what are our opinions towards this, this, and this, and this. Not expertise. This is just all personal opinion. Yeah. No research done. It's just like having a conversation with your friend about a game, and you guys go at it and see how well that goes. Yep. But either way, this is going to be the end of this Let's Play. So, like I said, I'm going to take Star for a walk, we're going to take a break, and then we're just going to be doing some more recordings anyways, because we got to keep with the recordings. we got a lot more Let's Plays to do. Yeah. So, with that being said, I am SwordKings090, that was Kyle. Have a nice day, everybody, and as always, we will see you in the next video.